اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one and only God. Peace and blessings be upon our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, whom no other Prophet will come after him. La ilaha illallah Muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. There is no God to worship but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Surah Al-Baqarah 2 Verse 259 Or are you not aware of the one who passed by a city which was in ruins? He wondered, How could Allah bring this back to life after his destruction? So Allah caused him to die for a hundred years, then brought him back to life. Allah asked, How long have you remained in this state? He replied, Perhaps a day or part of a day. Allah said, No. You have remained here for a hundred years. Just look at your food and drink. They have not spoiled. But now, look at the remains of your donkey. And so, we have made you into a sign for humanity. And look at the bones of the donkey. How we bring them together, then close them with flesh. When this was made clear to him, he declared, Now I know that Allah is most capable of everything. Hafiz Abu Qasim ibn Asakir said, He was Uzair ibn Jarwah. It is also said he was ibn Surik, ibn Adya, ibn Ayyub, ibn Darzana, ibn Ari, ibn Taki, ibn Usbu, ibn Fanhaz, ibn Al-Adhir, ibn Harun. Others also said that he was Uzair ibn Saruqah. It is said that his grave is in Damascus. Ishaq ibn Bishar reported that ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu and many others said that Uzair was a pious and wise man. Ibn Asakir narrated on the authority of Abu al-Qasim al-Baghawi that ibn Abbas said, I do not know whether Tubba was a cursed one or not, and I do not know whether Uzair was a prophet or not. Or are you not aware of the one who passed by a city? which was in ruins, up to its roofs. Mujahid ibn Jabbar said that the ayah refers to a man from the children of Israel and the village was Jerusalem after Nebuchadnezzar destroyed it and killed its people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's statement, ruins up to its roofs, indicates that the roofs and walls of the village fell to the ground and it became empty of people. One day, Uzair went out to look after some of his properties and when he finished, he passed by a ruined place. It was noon and the heat was severe and he was scorched by the blazing sun. He entered that ruined place. He had with him his donkey and a basket of figs and a basket of grapes. He descended where he found some shade. He took out a bowl and squeezed grape juice in it. Then took some dry bread and placed it in the juice in order to make the bread moist and eat it. After he finished with his food, he lay down on his back and propped up his leg on the wall and then looked around the ruins of that place. Uzer stood contemplating about what had happened to that city after a great civilization used to inhabit it. He saw some decomposed bones and said, He wondered how could Allah bring this back to life after his death. It was because of the utter destruction he saw and the implausibility of his returning to what it used to be. He did not say this as a result of any doubt in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's ability to revive them back to life. Rather, he said that out of his curiosity and amazement at what he saw. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the angel of death who seized his soul and caused him to die for 100 years. And after 100 years, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then raised him up again. The city was rebuilt 70 years after Uzair died and its inhabitants increased and the children of Israel moved back to it.
during which time the Israelites went through tough times and changes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent an angel to Uzair who made for him his heart to make him heedful. Then he created his two eyes to enable him to see and realize how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revives the dead. Then the angel continued to complete his creation once more while he was looking. Then he clothed his bones with flesh, skin and hair. Then he breathed the soul into him. All this while he is looking and perfectly heedful. When his resurrection was complete, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to him, meaning through the angel, He said, How long did you remain dead? He, the man said, Perhaps I remained dead a day or part of a day. The scholar said that since the man died in the early part of the day, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala resurrected him in the later part of the day, when he saw that the sun was still apparent, he thought that it was the sun on that very same day. He said, Nay, you have remained dead for a hundred years. Look at your food and your drink. They show no change. He had grapes, figs and juice, and he found them as he left them. Neither did the juice boil, nor the figs become bitter, nor the grapes rot. As if he began to deny the matter by his heart, the angel said, You deny what I say? Then look at your donkey. How Allah brings it back to life while you are watching. He looked at his donkey and found his bones to be decomposed and in total ruined. The angel called upon the donkey's bones and they answered his call and gathered together from all direction till he was made one whole again. He then put the veins and arteries, then put the flesh and muscles on the bones, then grew on them hair and skin. Then the angel breathed into it and the donkey stood up in front of him. As Sudi said, Uzair observed the bones of his donkey, which were scattered all around him to his right and left. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a wind that collected the bones from all over the area. He then brought every bones to its place until they formed a full donkey made of fleshless bones. Then he covered these bones with flesh, nerves, veins and skin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent an angel who blew life in the donkey's nostrils and the donkey started to pray by Allah's leave. When this was made clear to him, he declared, Now I know that Allah is most capable of everything, meaning I know that and did witness it with my own eyes. Therefore, I am the most knowledgeable in this matter among the people of my time. Then he rode on his donkey's back to his village, where he seemed unfamiliar to the people, and the people looked unfamiliar to him. Even so, he did not find his own house easily. When he did reach the house, he found a crippled blind old woman at the age of 120 years old. She was a maid owned by him in the past, and he left her while she was only 20 years old. He asked her, Is this the house of Uzair? She replied, Yes, it is. She wept and said, Today no one ever remembers Uzair. He told her, I am Uzair, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had caused me to die for 100 years, then he gave me life again. She said, Glory be to Allah. We lost Uzair 100 years ago and never heard anything about him. He said, Verily, I am Uzair. Then she said, Uzair was a man whose supplications were acceptable by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He used to pray for the sick and those who were inflicted by any illness. So invoke him to return my sight to me to look at you. So if you were Uzair, I would certainly know you. So Uzair prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then passed his hand over her eyes. Her eyes became normal 
and he held her hand and said, Stand up with Allah's permission. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala aided her and she stood up healthy. She then looked at him and said, I bear witness that you are Uzair. She went to the locality of the children of Israel, who were at the time gathered in their assemblies, and to a son of Uzair, who was 118 years old and had his grandchildren. She called out to them, saying, This is Uzair. He has come back to you. But they belied her. She then said to them, I am so and so, your maid servant. Uzair prayed to his Lord for me and he returned to me my sight. Uzair claims that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala caused him to die for 100 years and then raised him back again. People then began to rush towards him and his son said, My father had a black mole between his shoulders. So Uzair uncovered his shoulders and it confirmed that he was Uzair. The children of Israel said, There was no one amongst us who could memorize the Torah like Uzair. Bakhtar Nazar burned the Torah and nothing is left of it except what the people have memorized. So write it for us. Uzair's father, Saruka, hid one copy of the Torah and had buried it in a place that nobody knew except Uzair. They went with him to that place and dug out the Torah. Its pages had decayed and its writing had faded. Then Uzair sat down under the shade of a tree with the children of Israel around him. Two flames came down from the sky and after entering his chest, he remembered the Torah and rewrote it for them. From then on, the Israelites started claiming that Uzair was the son of God. Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu said regarding Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's statement that we make you a sign to the people. It means that he was a sign for the Israelites because when he died he was 40 years old and when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised him the children were older than him and he stayed the same age as when he died. Uzair lived in the period between Prophet Daud and Prophet Sulaiman salam and Prophet Zakaria and Prophet Yahya salam. When there was nobody who memorized the Torah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inspired him and he rewrote it. As Wahab ibn Munabbih said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered an angel to descend with a flame of light to put inside Uzair and then Uzair rewrote the Torah letter by letter, till he completed. Ibn Asaki reported on the authority of Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu that he asked Abdullah ibn Salam about the verse. Surah at tawbah 9 verse 30 And the Jews said, Uzair is the son of Allah. He asked him why they said this. So Ibn Salam said to him, how he had rewritten the Torah for the children of Israel from his memory and how they said, Musa could not bring us the Torah except in a book, but Uzair brought it to us without a book. Thus, a group of them claimed that he was the son of Allah. This is why many Muslim scholars say that the chain of Torah being transmitted broke in the time of Uzair. Isaac ibn Bishar narrated that Al-Hasan said, Uzair and Bakht Nazar were in the same time period. In Sahih al-Bukhari, narrated by Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu, I heard Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, I am the nearest of all the people to the son of Maryam, and all the prophets are paternal brothers, and there has been no prophet between me and him, Ya'ni Isa alayhi salam. Wahab ibn Munabbih said that he was between Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam and Prophet Isa alayhi salam. Sunan ibn Majah, it was narrated from Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu that the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, One of the prophets was beaten by an ant, so he ordered that the ant colony be burned. 
then Allah revealed to him, Because one ant bit you, you destroy one of the nations that glorify Allah. Today's story is extracted from several books from Imam Ibn Khatir, stories from the Qur'an, stories of the Prophet, and Tafsir Ibn Khatir, Volume 2. Wallahu alam bi sawab. Ya Allah, please teach us knowledge that is beneficial to us. Let us take advantage of the knowledge that you pour on to us. Please give us knowledge, good deeds, and sincerity in our lives. May we receive mercy and guidance from you, Ya Allah. Please increase our Iman and Ilmu so that we can pass them down to our children, family, friends, and all our loved ones. Until my next video, inshallah, please take care and be kind to one another. Jazakumullahu khairan and shukran.